We'll kick things off with Rafi, CEO of Avir. Rafi seems to see things that other people just can't. At first, everyone thinks he's crazy. And then, <laughs> but then it's kind of amazing. We at Metaprop have seen the construction industry, the asset management industry, the broader venture community over the past couple of months catch up to Rafi's big vision for the future of construction and asset management. So I'd like to welcome Rafi to the stage to tell us more. Hi. This is my eldest son. His name is Caleb, and he's really cute. But besides that, my wife and I know that every single thing that happens to him now and over the course of his childhood is going to impact the person he becomes as an adult. So we're trying to get it all right. The thing is, we know even now he's two. He's grown up a little bit since then. We can't monitor every single thing that he does as helicopter parenty as we'd like to be. And that problem is only going to get worse as we send him to school. Um, and more and more people become involved in raising our child. He's going to go from teacher to teacher to camp counselor. There's not going to be a way for us to effectively observe everything that he does over the course of his childhood. This is a baby, too. This is a baby building. And these are her parents, some nice developers over here. They also know that everything that happens during this building's formative years, during construction, is going to impact what this building ends up becoming. But they also have the same problems that we face with Caleb. They don't have a way to monitor everything that happens during construction. So errors and mistakes are missed. Missing errors cost over a trillion dollars a year in rework costs. And the problem of shared ownership of a building or shared control is kind of built into the process when it comes to buildings. When construction is complete, the general contractor hands over control of the building to the property manager. And the information loss that occurs in that handoff causes $800 billion a year in waste due to inefficiencies in property management and renovation. And if you're hoping that there's some kind of institutional knowledge or memory, well, that all exists in that head of this one guy, and his mind is not insurable. Hi, my name is Rafi Holzer. I'm the CEO of Avir, and we are building a single source of truth for buildings. Completely dynamic and always up to date from construction through decommission. During construction, you can use this digital twin of your building to immediately identify mistakes when they're made, to track progress of the construction process, and once the building is complete, we can start layering in additional streams of data, whether it's your building automation systems or the Internet of Things that the WeWork group was talking about a little bit earlier, so that you can know what is happening with your building and inside of your building at any point in time. Now, there are a number of companies, lots of companies, frankly, that are trying to solve problems in the construction space. And there are more companies that are trying to solve problems in facility management. The thing is, all of these companies are missing the bigger picture. Construction and operation maintenance are not two different things. They're part of one building life cycle. And Avir is the only company that's actually addressing building problems holistically, carrying buildings, creating a system of record for buildings from the very beginning, from inception, all the way through decommission. So how do we do it? We start, fittingly enough, in pre-construction. We start with what's known as a building information model, it's a set of 3D building plans. The building owner or the general contractor uploads those to us. We then start scanning the job site. Anybody can do the scanning. The GC can do it. We can do it for you. It can be done at any time and with any device. Those scans are then uploaded to Avira as well. And then our algorithms compare the reality as represented by the scans against the designs as represented by that building model. We can identify discrepancies between those two data sets. So we can identify construction errors or delays as they happen. We then surface our findings to the right stakeholder and let them know and they can take one of two courses of action. Either they can take action in the field to update the building, to actually correct the error that's occurred, to bring it in line with the plans, or they can click a button and update the plans so they're now in line with reality. And then ultimately, 
you get to use this digital twin to better manage your building. As we layer on all those additional data streams, you get to control your elevators, your air conditioning systems, <coughs> monitor your use of energy, all in one place. We decided to target mission critical owners, so owners of mission critical assets, specifically in four sectors. We're looking at health, data centers, oil and gas, and municipal construction. And in each of these sectors, we are now working with a strategic um, blue chip client who are not only paying us for our service, but are actually actively engaged in making sure that our product becomes what it needs to when it reaches adulthood. The market opportunity is massive. We are just in construction monitoring. There's a $12 billion opportunity that expands to $15 billion once we move into the building management space. And it truly really explodes once we can bring all this technology not just to new construction, but to existing assets. Our team is comprised of experts in machine learning, software development, product management, and sales. That's these guys. And I'd like to end by saying, you know, bringing it back to Caleb, because we care about our children, we get to know them really well. If you care about your building, you need to get to know it well too. And Avir is really the only way to do that. Thank you.